So uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa and Best Life Lee. And um, today my video is about how I created my new coffee bar. And I'm going to show you how it looked before. I'm going to show you what I had there um, in place of a coffee bar and my dream coffee bar which I have just created. I have a couple of things that didn't come in on time but it's been taking me a few weeks to uh, get it all put together so I'm ready to I'm ready to share it. So but anyway stay well I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I hope you will come back soon. Take care everyone. Enjoy. And for the longest time I have wanted to create a little coffee bar here and I'll show you what the piece looked like before I took everything off of it. Uh, in a um, but I just haven't been able to create the type of coffee bar that I've been wanting to um, do because this piece, while it was pretty, uh, the way I had it set up, it really wasn't practical to be able to set up with the space that it um, has. It, it doesn't really have enough space. I put this piece on Facebook yard sale for my location and uh, I sold it. So I made $30 and now that will go towards whatever piece I end up putting here show, share with um, you uh once i get the piece and share with you how i go about decorating as, it as so, promised uh, i'm going to show you my coffee bar <laughs> not there yet so um, i have my um buffet <laughs> that is going to be my new coffee bar and I'm going to take it out of the box and separate all the pieces and try to build it um, in a little, you know, so that it doesn't take me all afternoon. Hopefully it won't. I don't think it will. Um, and when I um, finish the project, I mean, it's going to take me over the course of the week. I'm hoping I ordered some things. Um, that I want to decorate it with. Um, I also have a shelf that I'm going to put up. So, um, yeah, it's going to take probably this whole week to get this thing finished. And that's if I get my stuff uh, from Etsy that I ordered um, for decorations. I have some stuff. Obviously, I have my coffee makers um, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, come along with me and uh, we'll see how this project turns out. I will tell you how much it cost and what it's called. Okay, so it's from Wayfair. This is what it's supposed to look like when I get it done. And that was the cost. It does um, match sort of my um, newly painted furniture and I'll kind of show you um, it's not exact but we'll take a look at it. So I'm just gonna take all the pieces out. They're pretty lightweight. And I don't see any identifying uh, what's what. But I do have directions. And I do have hardware. Uh-oh, looks like that's mostly together. It's such a beautiful day today. I opened the patio doors <laughs> for some fresh air. And the animals just love it. Bo, is that nice, Bo? You like that, Bo? <laughs> Good boy, Bo. Joey, you hear the birds? All right, so that was probably the hardest, the most work intensive part of this whole project was throwing out the trash and getting all that stuff out of there. So, um, yeah, 
I guess. Let's go to step one, huh? down and of course I put it right side up all right let me get that together here and then I'll come back okay so I'm supposed to do I put a spring on first which is the small one and then I put a washer and then this has I think these are called Allen wrenches and it says, uh, please do not fully tighten screws until all screws are in place. And so I go inside. And I don't think it matters what was where. Let's see. All right, so I got the legs on and it was pretty easy. It only took me no more than 10 minutes. And I vacuumed up all the styrofoam that has uh, been making a big mess. So my next step is to put the bottom shelf on. tighten it until it's all on. And I should have gotten them all ready. I did that the last time. So I'll do two here. Put the little spring washer on first and the flat washer. I'll get them in. I didn't. All right, I'm just gonna tighten those all up all the way around, and uh, then there's one more thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but we will do it. Okay, well, the one last thing I don't need because it's the thing to mount it into the wall, and I don't need to mount mine into the wall. So I'm gonna skip that part, and I'm going to just get it to an upright position if I can and uh, see what it looks like when you're doing this stuff by yourself which 
I tend to prefer to do. Up we go. <laughs> so have you guys. measured this to make sure that it was going to fit in my space. So I had measured the wall and then I measured, uh, then I, you know, checked the specifications online before I ordered it. So it should fit right up against there perfectly. Perfectly, and it does. So I have great storage. These are drawers, like awesome drawers that I can put stuff in. So the storage in this little piece of furniture is really, really great. And then of course, the quality, you know, I really, really like it. Obviously, I can just make those all even. The space in there is nice and deep and tall. It has the nice magnets to close. Styrofoam gets everywhere. And I'll show you how it looks with the other pieces of furniture. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. So I don't think it's going to be a bad match, actually. I think it's a great match. So now what I have is, uh, this is my wall uh, from before. I'm going to take this sign down, maybe place it somewhere else because I have a shelf that I'm going to put up next. More styrofoam. We don't recycle styrofoam in my town, so I have to throw it away. <laughs> mugs these are a little bit bigger on the bottom uh, but I think I can still hang a coffee mug from them and I can put decorative things in here I gotta take these little papers off of here these little stickers but I'm thinking that something like this I have a blackboard that I'm going to um, redo um, that's gonna go there so I'm gonna take it and put it up it's got a teddy bear on it right now it's going to be painted and redone but let me get it just so I can see the positioning um, so that I know where that will fit and where my shelf will fit put this so I make sure I get it level carpenter I am not okay so just so you know what I figured out and I don't know why I didn't figure this out before but I screwed the um, screw inside. So from inside. So that's how I am getting it to stay up. Like a cafe sign that I had outside last year. It might be too big for that area. I'm going to go get it and check it out. Yeah, so pretty happy guys, pretty happy with what I've done so far today. Um, you know, it's it's a project, it doesn't, uh, you don't do it in one day, uh, especially when you're building the furniture. So, um, looking forward to checking back in when I'm ready to finish up. So as promised, I am going to uh, share my coffee bar with you all. Um, I don't have everything. Everything didn't show up. 
um, in time, but I figured since I have just about everything and I have really been working on it for the whole time trying to get um, trying to get it just right and uh, you know it's really been a work in progress and every day I'm changing things if you saw my um, blackboard video where I painted and stenciled the blackboard that I wanted to put at my coffee bar um, I've changed it already <laughs> um, to me it wasn't quite right it wasn't balanced so yesterday I washed the whole thing down and did it all over again with a couple of new stencils and I really love it now now it really looks um, like what I envisioned for that area um, and when I washed it I kind of wrecked it a little bit in terms of the black uh, paint it I can see a little bit of the brown from the teddy bear underneath uh, but that's okay because to me it looks really rustic it looks like I picked it up somewhere um, and it's uh, it's got some like love and whatever <laughs> so I'm happy uh, I'm really happy with how it Going. came out um, but anyway I'm gonna show you everything I'll I'll tell you uh, where I got it and of course I'm gonna link everything below that I can um, some things um, were just mine I shopped my stash for a few things um, and I'll tell you that uh, but yeah so I'm gonna show it to you now and uh, get to it I have the little shelf that you saw me put up my coffee shop sign from outside I've got my mugs my new blackboard and some things that I've put um, together so let's take a look at what I have so here's my new coffee bar sign just love how it came out and my my mugs are from Magnolia home and a fixer-upper fan big time no you can get them from Target oh it's not Magnolia home either it's hearth and hearth in hand with magnolia great mugs excellent quality nice and heavy this is also from hearth in hand magnolia I want that focus uh, see the good love it and this um, basket, this, this wire. wire basket, is also from Hearth and Hand. And I have my cute little napkins. I don't even know where I picked those up at this point, but you can get them really anywhere you see some cute little napkins. And then I got this um, little uh, hand towel from Joann's so good to be home the spoon rest is also hearth in hand I love this cup so this cup says kindness counts and it's the blue of you know matching of my bar coffee bar and my painted furniture so I just really love to have that there. And then these, my creamer, sugar, and coffee containers, they come from Etsy and they were uh, handcrafted and uh, they are really, really pretty. And what I plan to do, the coffee one has my little, uh, coffee one has my little pods for espresso in my Nespresso machine and uh, what I plan to do I have um, what I plan to do with my sugar is I plan to put little sugar packets in there and then creamer dried creamer um, that I use 
And this little coffee um, placemat, I also got that from Etsy. So that was also homemade or handmade, I should say. And then um, up here, so this little uh, pitcher I got from the Target dollar spot. This little It's Good to Be Home uh, came from Michael's last fall, I believe. There's another of my black mugs with the little tulips from Michael's. The little um, rosemary plant was from Hearth and Hand. And the fresh brood is from Etsy, another handmade product. Um, and then up at the top, so I had that wire basket already um, that was really not being used. It was on top of my fridge and I'd put um, fruits in there. I mean, yeah, fruits. Um, so I had a garland that was um, had lemons on it. And I cut the lemons off and just put it in there. And then the little tiny glass jars that I stuck up on the end. There's a rooster. And then there's a... And that one is a little pig. I got that from a yard sale uh, at, one, at some point in time. And the little greenery I had picked up at Hobby Lobby somewhere along the line too. So that isn't new. Uh, and so then to show you what I've done with my, um, these little drawers are holding my tea, my little, uh, Thing for the tea bag and this is holding the, some tea too and this is holding my little Keurig coffee pods and this is holding some more of the Nespresso pods and my little espresso cups and some espresso spoons and stirrers and then on the bottom, I have another one of the uh, hand, hearth and hand baskets. I don't know what's going to go in there yet, but I just think it's so pretty. And it's just so, you know, it's substantial. I love it. And they were not expensive. Um, I have a canister from the fall that I had uh, taped on from a fall coffee that I had gotten at TJ Maxx, something I picked up at a yard sale, the coffee press that I already had, and the milk frother from the Ninja coffee maker that uh, I had at one point in time. We no longer have it, but the milk frother works fine. You use it in the microwave um, and it works beautiful. So that is uh, what I've got going on there. So there is the coffee bar. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I love it. And uh, there's a couple more things coming. I ordered a, uh, a light switch um, cover that has, is coffee related. And if and those come in before Friday when I put up this video, then I will... Um, I will share that uh, with you guys. Check in. Uh, some things have been coming in dribs and drabs for my coffee bar. So I did want to just show you a couple of things that came in. Um, there's still a couple things outstanding. Actually, maybe just one thing that I didn't get, but um, I just wanted to show you how it's coming together completely since I did my. Uh, last video so I'm gonna show you real quick and uh, hopefully uh, you like what I did all right so I don't know if you can see right away what the changes are but one of the things is this beautiful coffee bar sign and this is from Etsy and it's handmade and it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and the other things I was waiting for are these little espresso cups. They're so 
darn cute. They're pottery and they're from a company called CB2. Um, made in China. <laughs> um, so I got two of those. They came in today, which I'm thrilled with. And then the other thing was this um, container for my coffee pods. And my coffee maker can sit right on there. And uh, yeah, nice and sturdy. Got that from Amazon. I'll link it, obviously. Um, I think that that is all that I have to show you. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for now is I ordered the switch plate for the outlet cover switch plate and my little I ordered like a little um, bead that says I think it says brew on it and I was gonna drape it over one of my canisters and that would complete my look I don't know if it's coming in before I wrap up this video because I do want to get this out this week on Friday so if it's not in um, I will uh, send you a picture at some time I'll include it somewhere along the line so you will get to see it so again take care guys mm -hmm.